Tell me the story of the infamous blue screen of death. What it is, is when Windows has no other option, when the kernel gets into a state where something illegal has happened. So let's say a device driver is trying to write to a piece of memory it doesn't own, or is trying to free a memory piece of memory twice, something that just cannot happen, and the kernel has no other option. It will shut the machine down to save your work, mm -hmm. and, well, not save it, prevent further damage. And it puts up a blue screen, and it... Uh, prints out the stack information, depending on how your settings are. Sometimes it's just a sad face <laughs> in the current Windows. Yeah, I wonder what the first version of Windows where the blue screen came to be. So Windows 3 had a blue screen, mm -hmm. but it's completely unrelated to the blue screen in Windows NT. And I talked to the guy that wrote the blue screen in Windows NT. His name's John Vert. And uh, the reason he picked white on blue I had thought, I'd always heard, because in the labs, you could walk through a lab where we have 50 PCs all running stress. Oh, that one's got a blue screen. It's mm -hmm. crashed. It wasn't that simple. It was just the MIPS firmware that he was building it on was blue on white. And Visual Slick Edit that he was using as editor was also the same color scheme. And so you could code, boot, crash, and reboot all in the same color scheme. Why do you think so many problems with computers can be solved by turning it off and turning it on back again? I think there's two major things that happen with computers as you run them over time. One is memory gets used and not freed. Yeah. And so it accumulates on the heap or in the swap file or wherever, and things get sluggish. And the other is code gets into a state that the developers didn't anticipate or didn't test very well. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's a rare state, but now that Notepad or Word or Excel is in that state, your system is goofy. So if you just reboot the thing or shut it down and restart it, you're getting a fresh state and there's no memory leaks. So it covers a lot of sins, basically. And uh, the intricate ways that several pieces of software in a goofy state interact with each other creates sort of a meta goofy state <laughs> that just kind of, just the entire system starts acting a little weird. Yeah. And somehow fixes it. 